Hi, Assalamualaikum. So, today is our first lesson on tutorial for SAM 2 2021. Okay, so this is our tutorial 1, Simple Harmonic Motion. As you can refer to your uh, tutorial book, our first question states that a spring makes 12 vibrations in 40 seconds. Find the period and frequency of that vibration. Okay, so there is two questions here. The first one, we need to find the period. The second one, we need to find the frequency. Okay, so for the period, um, we know that the definition of the period is actually the time taken to uh, make one complete oscillation. So since here we have 12 oscillations or 12 vibrations in 40 seconds, therefore we can get the period by dividing 40 seconds by 12. So we got 3.3 seconds. Okay, as you can see um, my work here. So for frequency, either you use 1 over t, the formula that we usually use for frequency, or you can divide 12 by 40. Okay, both will give you uh, the same answer. Okay, 0 0.3 hertz or 0 0.3 per second. Lah. Okay, so that's all for number one. Okay, so for question number two, the question asks for the simple harmonic motion shown in figure 1.2. What are the amplitude, period, and frequency okay so here we have three different questions to answer the first one is amplitude period and the third one is frequency okay uh, when we find a graph in the question uh, what we need to read from the graph is actually the x-axis and the y-axis the y-axis basically represent the amplitude while the x-axis uh, represent the time so um, to find the amplitude here just find uh, the value of the maximum uh, x here so the value we can see here is 0 0.75 cm so therefore I put amplitude is equal to 0 0.75 cm uh, but in the exam uh, we need to uh, convert the unit to SI, okay, to SI unit. That's why my uh, final answer is in meter, 0 0.0075 meter. Okay, remember in the exam, you need to convert the unit to SI unit. Okay, so settle for the amplitude. For the period, uh, we know that period is basically the time taken uh, to complete one oscillation okay so here we have a few oscillation just find one complete oscillation so i found uh one complete oscillation from point a to point b okay from point a to point b is uh one complete oscillation so the time taken to complete point a to point b is 0 0.6 minus 0 0.4 which is 0 0.2 second so our period is 0 0.2 second lah. okay so for the third one the question asks for the frequency since we have uh, we already have the time or the period therefore we can use uh we can use the formula 1 over t so 1 over 0 0.2 is equal to 5 hertz Okay, so that's all for number two. So for number three, if particle undergoes SHM with amplitude 0 0.1 meter, what is the total distance it travels in one period? Okay, so uh, to answer the, this question, uh, you need to imagine uh, we have one spring with uh, a mass so here I have a spring uh, with a mass here so you just imagine uh, you uh, this, this mass is uh, moving uh, downward and upward downward and upward like that okay so imagine that this is um, equilibrium position 
So if it's not moving, uh, the uh, red line here is the equilibrium position. So uh, uh, when it's moving to the downward, uh, there is a 0 0.1 meter and when it goes upward again, there is 0 0.1 meter again and when it moves upward, uh, it is one more 0 0.18 meter and when it moves to the uh, equilibrium, equilibrium position again, uh, then we have the fourth 0 0.1 meter, uh, 18 meter uh, distance okay so to complete one oscillation for the mass um, attached to the spring uh, we need four times of 0 0.1 meter. if you know what I mean okay uh, I hope you can uh, see um, what I want to explain here okay so uh, If you can see from uh, the graph, okay, for one complete oscillation, we have uh, four times of 0 0.18, 0 0.18, 0 0.18, 0 0.18, okay, for every motion, okay, every movement, okay, for every movement, we have 0 0.18 uh, meters. So, therefore, 0 0.18 meter times 4 we got uh, total distance is 0 0.72 meter okay okay so for number 4 the displacement of a particle undergoing a simple harmonic motion is given as s equals to 9 sine 4 by t where s is in meter and t in second determine a amplitude b angular frequency c period of oscillation uh, D is displacement when time is equal to 0 0.2 second and E sketch the displacement time graph displacement okay right uh, so class when you got this type of question just rewrite the equation given okay so I rewrite here our equation given is 9 sine 4 by t okay the technique here is comparison okay so as you can see I use compare here I use compare so I compare with what I compare with the general equation of the simple harmonic motion which is a sine omega t so when I compare, I can get amplitude value immediately, uh, which is 9, okay, the one with arrow here, 9, and then I can get uh, the value of omega immediately, which is 4 pi, unit is radian per second. The period is 2 pi over omega lah, so we've got... Um, we've got a uh, period is 0 0.5 second here. And then uh, question D, question D, uh, the question asks for the uh, displacement when time is equal to 0 0.2 second. So the technique here is you set your calculate, calculator in radian, okay? Whenever uh, you are in a session topic, make sure your calculator set in radian, okay? So... Just substitute the value of 0 0.2 here for the time. Uh, and then just uh, press your calculator lah, okay? Uh, but make sure the calculator is in radian so that you can get the answer 5.29 meter, okay? Okay, so the last one is... Um, uh, C, uh, sorry, the last one is E, so we need to um, sketch the graph of displacement against time, so displacement against time, um, so I sketch for two complete oscillation here, sketch for the two complete oscillation here, okay, this is one complex oscillation. This is two complex oscillation. So for the amplitude, I just uh, take the value from the equation. Lah. So this is amplitude. Um, 
sorry, this is empty. Empty. Okay, so this is empty. Uh, and then the period 0.5 I got from the question C just now. Okay, so yeah, that is how you sketch the graph for number 4E. Okay. Let's see the overview. It's too small. Okay. Okay. So that's it. And see you guys in the next video. Okay. Bye.